In the nuclear power plant of the Axomaco company, one of the reactors is engulfed in radioactive flames. In the midst of chaos, two technicians desperately try to prevent the reactor from exploding but cannot agree on which button to press. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a time traveler appears, approaching them. The stranger advises the engineers to press the yellow button. At that moment, two representatives of the time patrol appear and attempt to arrest the time traveler. He disappears just in time as the patrol members instruct the engineers not to listen to him and to instead press the blue button. Shortly thereafter, they too disappear. The engineers finally heed the last advice and press the blue button, resulting in a massive nuclear explosion. A few years before this event, a government representative named Gilbert Alaba is about to authorize the construction of a controversial nuclear plant by a Chinese company. He explains that this move will create numerous job opportunities and that nuclear energy is the cleanest available option. However, an environmentalist named Alice confronts him, stating that the company is using outdated technology that could pose significant risks in the future. Nevertheless, security agents remove Alice and two of her companions from the room to the police station. Alice's friends inform her that they managed to film their arrest and suggest posting it online. At that moment, a police officer arrives and releases Alice, claiming that her father has come to pick her up. In front of her shocked accomplices, Gilbert himself enters the room and takes Alice with him on the way home. Gilbert scolds his daughter for resembling her late mother, who was also an environmental activist. Later, Alice's friends call her from the police station and accuse her of lying about her father. To redeem herself, she must access her father's computer and find evidence of his illicit connections to Axomaco, otherwise, they will publish the video, revealing her father's identity to the world. In the evening, Gilbert has a drink while watching videos of his deceased wife. In a samba mood, he closes his laptop and goes to bed. Meanwhile, Alice sneaks into the house, where she discovers the same time traveler attempting to steal the laptop. The young man tries to explain something, but Alice strikes him with a bottle. Hearing the noise, her father comes downstairs, and Alice explains that she found the vagabond trying to steal her laptop. Suddenly, a bright light shines in the yard. Simultaneously, the guest regains consciousness and tries to explain that they cannot allow the construction. Just then, the time patrol appears and injures Gilbert. The time traveler captures Alice and her father, transporting them to the future. Awakening in strange catacombs, Alice strikes the stranger, and someone's hand prevents her from falling. Meanwhile, Agents Louise, Matteo, and Victor return to their headquarters. The director, named Constance, reproaches them for missing the main criminal and time traveler, who could disrupt the entire timeline. Therefore, Louise is put in charge of the operation from now on. Alice wakes up in a messy room. From the neighboring room, she hears her father's voice. Suddenly, a boy named Raf enters, the same one Alice had hit when they first met. He suggests having some food and explains that they live here because it's not safe to go outside, and he ended up here by chance from the 21st century. He proposes continuing the conversation in the laboratory. Gilbert presses a button, and a heavy metal door unexpectedly opens, revealing a horde of zombies. They immediately close the door, frightened. At that moment, the third member of the group, Dr. Castafolt, enters the laboratory. He explains that, in addition to regular zombies, there are more agile ones. The zombies emerge due to radiation. They watch an old video about a nuclear catastrophe, but Gilbert denies everything and refuses to believe he is in the future. In a rusted armored vehicle, the guests are driven through the ruined streets. Suddenly, they stop and instruct Gilbert to admire the main attraction, a gigantic radioactive cloud orbiting Earth every 70 years, destroying all living beings. As time passes, the cloud grows larger, and this time, no one will survive. After witnessing what the world has become, Gilbert realizes his mistake, and the time traveler prepares to shoot him. Alice protects her father and asks him to find another way to save humanity. The time traveler explains that stealing the laptop and causing a political scandal was the other way, but now he must be eliminated before being found by the agents. At that moment, Gilbert loses consciousness. Alice also tries to convince the time traveler that her father can change. He suggests showing Gilbert their hideout to influence him but tells the time traveler to be quiet. Later, Henry goes to the laboratory, while the others decide to go to a local pub. Alice and her father interact with the pub's patrons. The time traveler and Raf discuss the girl's potential and even consider recruiting her into their group. Afterward, Gilbert and the others hastily leave the pub, encountering a horde of zombies. The time traveler tries to teleport the entire group, but the device indicates that the battery is depleted. Suddenly, a gang led by someone named List Whistle comes to their aid and distracts the zombies. Meanwhile, in the laboratory, the time patrol raids. Having observed in advance, Henry gathers what is necessary, activates the self-destruct mode, and exits the laboratory. An explosion immediately resounds. In the destroyed laboratory, the patrol led by Louise finds a map of the hideout. 
Meanwhile, the group arrives at the actual hideout, a hidden settlement with remnants of civilization and children. During lunch, Henry suddenly teleports to the table and informs them that the patrol is on its way. A few moments later, the patrol arrives at the hideout, and List Whistle orders them to take their positions. The children overturn the tables and pelt the enemies with stones. One of the patrol members throws a grenade, which is heroically covered by Castafold. The mechanical parts of his scattered body reveal that he was a robot. Enraged, the time traveler seizes a pistol and prepares to shoot Gilbert again, accusing him of everything that is happening. With a disapproving look, List Whistle signals to the Time Traveler not to do it. The Time Traveler lowers his weapon and receives an electric shock from one of the patrol members. Louise removes her helmet and explains that she came only for a few individuals. The patrol arrests the Time Travelers and Raf and takes Gilbert and Alice. In the Time Brigade's office, Constance thanks Alice for helping them catch a dangerous criminal. But Alice is convinced that the boy wants to save the planet while the patrol doesn't even try to improve it. The patrol brings Alice and Gilbert back to the present time and place. In the morning, Gilbert gets ready for work, and noticing the laptop on the table, he remembers Alice. Meanwhile, the Time Traveler and Raf are taken to Constance's office. She declares that they will finally pay for all the ruined lives. However, the Time Traveler claims to have saved many lives, but Constance cannot know this. According to him, when Time Travelers are successful, time resets, and people don't remember anything. Only those who change time can remember the alternate reality. The patrol employees are puzzled, and an infuriated Constance orders her staff not to listen to him. At that moment, Gilbert steps out to sign the papers with Axomako, but he suddenly changes his mind. Back at home, Alice asks him why he didn't sign the documents, and he responds that he just wants to spend the day with her. In the patrol office, a report arrives with critical changes in time. The time traveler explains that these are internal changes in Gilbert, and they cannot intervene. An upset Constance orders her employees to find Gilbert and force him to sign the documents. Louise doubts the legality of such an order, but Constance suspends her and sends Matteo and Victor on the mission. Meanwhile, in the future, the radioactive cloud approaches, and List Whistle asks the doctor, still in pieces, to do something. Victor and Matteo have entered Gilbert's house and, threatening his daughter, take him to sign a document. Suspecting that something is amiss, Constance sends Richard, her assistant, to find Louise. At the last moment, Louise decides to switch sides, deceives Richard, and releases the prisoners. According to the plan, Raf should save Alice from Victor. The time traveler should take care of Matteo and assist Gilbert, while Louise should handle Constance. Raf suddenly appears in front of Alice and Victor, who immediately subdues him. Similarly, the time traveler clumsily teleports to the roof of Gilbert's car. Just then, they inform Constance that the prisoners have escaped. She turns off the lights in the room and attacks Louise. Meanwhile, Raf regains consciousness and begins teleporting from one place to another, not giving Victor a chance to shoot him. Matteo goes to check if the boy is alive. Suddenly, the time traveler grabs Matteo by the leg, and both are transported back to World War I. Matteo and the time traveler engage in a spectacular fight, but are suddenly attacked. Alice helps Raf defeat Victor and calls her father. However, Constance appears and confiscates Gilbert's phone, announcing that the man has been neutralized. Henry delivers the sad news that he will not be able to build the time machine. The hopeless children await the end. Gilbert is about to sign the papers when something strange begins to happen. It turns out that Raf and Alice have been transported to the moment of his birth and, aiming a weapon at Henry, order him to save their mother. Everything around them vibrates, disappears, and changes. Constance is furious, and the time traveler tells her that Alice is erasing herself from the timeline. Meanwhile, Alice's mother regains consciousness during childbirth and sees her adult daughter slowly fading away. Gilbert realizes what is happening and shouts that he doesn't want to forget his daughter. Suddenly, he wakes up in the kitchen, where one of his daughters asks, who is Alice? His wife approaches and reveals that Alice was their daughter who did not survive childbirth. Upset, Gilbert remembers that he was supposed to sign something. His wife tells him that he has already signed everything, and shows him a newspaper with an article about Gilbert launching a renewable and eco-friendly energy project. The time traveler wakes up with a severe headache. During the festivities in the pub, Henry explains to Raf that Alice has created an unprecedented temporal paradox. They approach a table where Alice is already waiting. Henry explains that she managed to cancel her own birth, but did not disappear, otherwise, she would have cancelled the action. In this version of reality, she exists while not existing.